fraud and hundreds of thousands of dollars taken from a client. A federal grand jury indicts Patricia Walker Halstead on 11 counts of wire fraud. Today's indictment comes two weeks after we watched federal agents search her Northwest Omaha home. KTV News Watch 7's Chin Doan joins us live with the latest. Patricia Walker Halstead says she's been a private investigator for decades, but she's now found herself on the other side of the law. When I talked to her this morning at her home, she said she had no idea she was indicted. But then this afternoon, sitting with her attorney, she shared her side of the story. But, but. Sitting in her attorney's office, Patricia Walker Halstead says she was only trying to help her client. But according to the indictment, all Walker Halstead did was help herself to her client's money, $856,000 in just over 18 months. The client first contacted Walker Halstead in March 2011 to investigate a stalking case and provide security services. She wanted my services 24-7. There were weeks when I worked 80, 90 hours a week up until the middle of the night. Walker Halstead ran Walker Investigations from her home at 115th and Reed Circle and according to the indictment claimed she had enough evidence against the stalker to go to trial. I investigated numerous people for her, surveillance, did backgrounds. I just completely had her as a client. Then it took a twist. According to the indictment, Walker Halstead had so much evidence that she wanted to take it to an investigator with a Nebraska State Patrol named Scott. Investigators say that person doesn't exist. But Walker Halstead convinced her client Scott could be a future love interest and possible marriage partner. And then allegedly sent her client emails regarding Scott's financial problems and said he needed help. The indictment details 11 emails sent from Walker Halstead to her victim that were allegedly from Scott, referencing a secret relationship, massive debt, and expenses, and one that asked the victim to delete and destroy previous emails and correspondences between them. There was never any emails where there was ever a request from Scott for money. The indictment alleges Walker Halstead did not perform investigative work, develop evidence, or other materials. Instead, it claims she used the money for gambling expenses and to make purchases of goods and services for her own use, including this 27 GMC train investigators seized. A big part of the Secret Service's role in working financial crimes is trying to give relief to the victims. And the Secret Service tells me this is one of the largest fraud cases they've investigated lately. And if found guilty, Patricia Walker Halstead may face up to 20 years in prison in or be fined $250,000 for each of the wire fraud counts. Her arraignment is scheduled for September 16th. All right, Chin Doan reporting live. Thank you.